We don't ever stop searching. Ask, seek and knock. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it will be open. So we keep searching, Lord. We com we commit right now, Lord, to keep searching for a closer walk with you every single day. To seek your face every day. To pray more every day. To praise more every day. To feel more of your presence every single day. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we know what it means. We know what happens now. It's time to go. It's got time to go to your happy place. He who dwells in the secret place, the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Your happy place right now. To be carefree. Leave the world at the door. Leave the world at the door. And we now go to worship. And be carefree. Amen, family.
and to be carefree. To truly be carefree and rest completely in God's presence. Rest completely in God's presence. Just a reminder, the bubbles aren't working. So right now from, from carefree on, we're now we worship until I get the bubbles fixed. So even if you don't see bubbles, know that once we hear carefree, the next 30 minutes, 35 minutes, is total worship. Every comment is either to the Lord or about how good God is in your life. Anything else is deleted. Because right now, it's about 100% to Lord. Give 100% of yourself. Open your heart. Open your heart and feel his presence. Open your heart. And let us touch, touch your heart, your mind, your spirit. Let him touch every part of you right now. And just bask, bask in his presence. Feel an anointing flowing right now. A fresh anointing is always waiting for you each time you come into God's presence. Let's say it together. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day in the name of Jesus. Oh, say it again. I receive a fresh anointing for this day in the name of Jesus. Anointing for healing. Anointing your breakthrough, deliverance, provision, protection. Anointing for whatever it is you need to walk in victory right now. His anointing destroys every yoke. His anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Receive it. Rest in it. Immerse yourself in the anointing right now. And let the anointing heal you. Let the anointing give you that peace beyond understanding by resting. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. I receive your touch. Oh, yes, Lord. I receive that peace right now in my life. That peace beyond understanding. I receive it right now. In Jesus' name. I receive joy right now. In Jesus' name. Oh, yes, Lord. Touch heal, deliver, touch, heal, deliver, Lord, touch every heart, Lord, heal every dis-ease or disease in every body, Lord, and deliver, Lord, deliver us from whatever we're facing right now in our life, Lord. Each person is going through something right now, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us from evil of any kind, Lord. Touch. Heal. Deliver. In Jesus' name. Touch. Heal. Deliver. In Jesus' name. Peace be still. Yes. Peace be still in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Let your glory fill this place, Lord. Let your glory fill this place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Feel the peace. Feel the peace right now flowing through your spirit. Receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Anointing for peace. Anointing for peace in your life. Peace in every situation you're dealing with right now. Peace be still. In Jesus' name. Peace be still. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Take over, Lord. Take over right now. Your love, your mercy, your grace, Lord. Yes, Lord. We just say yes, Lord. Keep living the word, Lord, every day, Lord. Live it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Living by the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
God is so real. The only way we're all here right now is because God has been so real to each one of us to be able to be here right here, right now, at this appointed time. So right now, Father God, we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter and we are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us in where you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Have your way. In every way. And right now we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, as you see fit for the kingdom. We take every worry, every stress, every fear, every struggle, every anxiety, Whatever's heavy on your heart right now, whatever's heavy on your mind right now, lay it on the altar. And once you lay it on the altar, what's next? Come on, say it together. What's next? Let go. That's right. Lay it on the altar. Let go. And trust God. Let go and trust. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, yoke destroyer, way maker, miracle worker, mountain mover, door opener, great physician the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go Lord we never ever let go of your unchanging hand you're the same yesterday today and forevermore Lord you are the air we breathe as a deer panteth for the water, so my soul longs after you, Lord, every single day. We inhale the breath of life. <sighs> Exhale. The word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the, the power within us. Oh yes, Lord. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale, the word of God. Have no fear. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In other words, stand still and watch God. Stand still and watch God turn your life around, your situation around, your struggle around. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hallelujah. You will not need to fight this battle. Hold your peace. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Because right now, right now, it's just you and me, Lord. Right now, it's just you and me and nobody else. Only you, Lord, can give me the peace I seek. Only you, Lord, can give me the joy I'm trying to find. It's just you and me, Lord. It's just you and me. Where there's perfect peace beyond understanding. It's just you and me, Lord. Just you and me.
Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me and nobody else. Right now, before we close, before we close, I always know someone's watching, maybe for the first time or listening for the first time, who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. We come together around the world and praise and worship and fellowship. Having never, never met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ. But someone right now listening doesn't understand this kind of fellowship. So right now I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the prayers is deleted. I respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to a person listening. Maybe your first time visiting for the first time. But right now you're having trouble connecting right now. You heard the you heard the the, the jamming praise in the beginning. You heard the prayer time and sharing. But right now you're having trouble connecting because right now your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stab you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yes, somehow you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that is why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said... The prayer of salvation. And then you fell back into sin. There's nothing the devil could do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil could do to stop you. So right now, if you're backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me, Lord, for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is Son of God. I believe He died on the cross for me and my sins. It was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now. I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without giving to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is right to see the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of you. He guides us and teaches us, especially convicts us when not walking with God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life which is bringing darkness into life. And he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. Feed your spirit. Starve your flesh. Feed your faith. Starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, 
the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual attribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash. And every other demonic spirit, named unnamed, seen unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind. Our spirit, our home, our kids, our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy. Loose peace beyond understanding. Loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing, physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. Yeah. By your stripes, we healed. And Lord, we confess, Lord, we confess every day, I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it and thank him. Every day, confess it and thank him. Every day, pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, a supernatural debt Cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessing, Lord. Your blessing of abundance, Lord. Rain down, Lord. Rain down on fellowship and financial need, whatever it is, Lord. For you, O oh Lord, shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything. The Lord is my shepherd. Fellowship, say this together, repeat after me, fellowship. For I am the head, not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am blessed going in and blessed going out. I am blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know every day we take time, every day we take time to see it. Take time every day to visualize the miracle. See the victory. See it. Believe it. And then receive it into your heart. As you receive it in your heart, expect it. Expect it every day. We don't know the when. We we'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day. Any day you wake up could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you. Keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to every you touch or speak to. A blessing to every you pray over. A blessing to every you pass by and bless without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24 7 365. Include leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. And the fellowship says, Amen. 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 Amen.